Hello, every one. Just tell me where you wanna go. Do you want to take the downloads per month, per week, per day, or total of a SourceForce project? But you don't know how. Well, here it is the tutorial that I will explain that. So you have a, a source for project, and um, you don't know how to get that downloads. Of course, if you go here on the downloads and see the GitHub has a download stats APA, you can use it. And uh, as like the API of GitHub, it is returning a JSON file. I have tried to access it using Java, but it fails because we need encryption of 256 bits and Java by default has 128. Of course, we can solve that, but uh, why doing this when we have a more easy way and a more hacky one? So we will go on the admin and we will go on the buttons and badges for our project. Then, okay, it lags. Let me see here. Then we will check which of them we want. So we want to get the total download. Let's go here and you paste it here. You will see this appears and we will go on inspect element. So if we inspect this CFG image, we can see that the download count is right here. Well, let's take it. So here I'm going on the code and I have pasted this URL that we have used before. Let me run it. And you can see total project downloads 261. Let me print it so you can see. Okay. I will run it. So if I run it like this, you will see the text of the CFG image, which is this text here. Okay, it lags. I will run it again. It is waiting for the response of the server right now, but uh, it lags. So I will show you it from here. Actually, the computer lags. Okay, so the response will be this text here. What we want is firstly to remove this text from here and then to remove this text from here. So what I'm doing is basically doing a split which removes, you can see, which removes the text from here and I'm keeping, you see, the text from here. So I'm keeping this and then I'm splitting again using total and I'm removing the text from here and I'm keeping this and guess what? We have the download count. Let me try it one more time. I hope it returns a response. Here we are. You can see the text here. Firstly, we are using this word to split. So it returns us an array containing this text and uh, this text. We take this array and we take this string here and we are splitting, removing this text here and we are keeping the download count. So let me run it and it will print download count something when it is unlocked. Okay, this line of code is a special trick because if you don't add it, you will get an error. Let me run it to see. 
you see you get an error of HTTP response 503 which is access denied I think something like this but you can use it and it does a trick I see you all very soon